Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones is made new. The adventurer pledges their allegiance to you as thanks. Any adventurers you resurrect will wait for you at the inn. You can now fill out your party with those who are waiting at the inn. Please be aware that if you leave an area and one of your party has fallen, they will become lost. If you encounter any bones during your questing, be sure to bring them back and resurrect them so that they can assist you. You have fulfilled the request. Report your work to the Guildmaster. After delivering your report, you think you see part of a smile cross Samuel's face. You are now registered with the Guild. You may now get cooperation from Guild members. They may participate in your party and help you in completing quests. The Adventurers Guild has a backlog of quests because many adventurers are occupied with the Dragon's Crown rumors. The King and his retinue left to find the Dragon's Crown and are missing. Many guild members are now searching for them. The existence of this crown that supposedly controls dragons is disputed, but the king was obsessed with finding it. Samuel hurriedly assigns you a new task. You get the feeling that he deems you reliable and trustworthy. It's a request from this country's prime minister. The quest's details will be provided at the castle. You wonder about the lives of the powerful people in that grand castle. You happily accept the job. You accepted a new request from the guild. You must go to the castle for further details. Flanked by guards, you are led through the secure castle. Princess Vivian and Prime Minister Gustav awaited you. The Prime Minister speaks a lot, in contrast to the silent Princess. He asks you to swear to keep this matter secret. The Royal Scepter has been stolen. A witness who saw the thief described him as Tomit, a known bandit. Your job is to track down Tomit and retrieve the Scepter. Also, for the sake of the Kingdom, this must be kept secret. Rani whispers that he knows of this Tomit. He's well known, and is based out of the old capital. You bow, and leave the throne room. In order to retrieve the royal scepter, you chase the thief into the ruins of the old capital. These are the ruins of the ancient capital city. It was destroyed following an invasion from the Northern Empire. Now, it is a dangerous place, full of dragons and wyverns. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Captain. It's my turn. Done. Oh, my. Outstanding. You find the bandit Tomet in a hideout amid the ruins, just as Rani told you. It is said that whatever this man desires, by thievery he can acquire. Rani asks, are you Tomet, the bandit legend? Beaming, he displays his spoils and tells the tale behind each item. When you ask about the scepter, he says, that was indeed I and goes on to boast exactly how he got into the castle. When you inquire further about the scepter, he deduces your true intentions and darts away. Pursue the thief. Apprehend him and reclaim the scepter. You cannot capture a target swimming underwater. What? Watch for your quarry to surface.
pin down Tomet, who is so stunned that he's actually been caught that he cannot move. Relenting, he produces the scepter from his bag and hands it to you. You have reclaimed the royal scepter, stolen from the treasure room of the castle. You must deliver the royal scepter to the prime minister at the castle. Once again, you are led to the throne room under guard. This time, a man stands there with a presumptuous grin. The man tells you to hand over the scepter. You tell him that you don't know what he's talking about. The man's mouth transforms into a twisted grin, and he signals his guards. They inch closer, swords at the ready. What will you do? You fall into a fighting stance. As soon as you steal yourself for battle, the Prime Minister and Princess burst in. The Prime Minister orders the guards near you to stand down. The man twirls his cape and leaves, as if nothing happened. You sigh, relieved that you didn't have to shed blood in the castle to resolve the problem. The Prime Minister tells you that man was Count Dean, the younger brother of the King. He is trying to usurp the throne. The scepter indicates the throne's heir. The Prime Minister says Dean had Tomit steal it to deny the princess the throne. The Prime Minister takes the scepter and narrows his eyes in satisfaction. He pays you for completing the request. The fairy you saved in the ruins appears before you. She seems to want to take you somewhere. <laughs> 